forgot my work coat in my garage and I'm sitting here wearing a Lacoste jacket to work. What's up guys, this is Keith Kelfus of the Landscaping Employee Trap, KeithKelfus.com. In this video, we're gonna learn how much to charge for a spring cleanup in your landscaping business. Come with me. The spring is popping, it's crackling, and what do you do during a spring cleanup? So, here's what we do. We blow out all the garden beds thoroughly, pull any weeds if there's anything, we trim down the shrubs, that's extra, and trim off the whole property and just make it look pristine again. So, blow up the leaves. So, here we blow and rake out all the garden beds. Like here, we gotta take a rake up underneath here to get all the ones that are stuck and just blow it all out. And then sometimes a little bit of the mulch will blow out of the beds, but that's okay too. Let's go in the backyard. All right, we're in the backyard of this property now. This is a client of mine. And yes, we have explicit permission to film on the property. Don't film on the property, it's without permission. And I forgot my work jacket at the house somewhere in my nice Lacoste, Lacoste t -t 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 landscape. So check this out. We're trimming down the shrubs, cleaning everything up, working our way to the backyard. This spring cleanup is uh, 220 for this property. That includes uh, just a quick spring trim of all the shrubs, clean up the property, blow out all the garden beds, clean everything up. Now, here's the cool part. The neighbor came out. What happens when the neighbor comes out? We call it a walk up. They say, Dad be looking crispy. I want mine done too. So, next door over there, if you can see, we're doing the neighbor. Uh, one thing I always offer is the package price. So we do landscaping and window cleaning. So whenever at a customer's house, offer to give them a price for gutter cleaning, for trimming their trees, cleaning their windows. Give them an all-inclusive package price so they at least know what services you have. Say, hey, you want the whole enchilada? The whole enchilada, right? Now, back here, any of the garden beds, if there's any grass growing out of the beds, pull it from the root, get it all out, nice and clean, and that's it. So that's what we charge. Our base price for a spring cleanup job is 250 bucks. That's just for um, anything, for us to show up on any property, and the only reason we're doing this one for 220 which I'm already lying to you, is because it's just such a small property and such a quick job. No, actually it was 250 and the customer said, well, look into last year's estimate. Uh, you charged me 220 I said, well, I guess we'll do it for 220 Gotta get that work. So the common questions are, do you take the leaves away for that price too? Yes. Now, I, I normally charge $60 per yard of debris removal, per yard, right? But here's the problem. When I told the neighbor it was gonna be 250 to do theirs, they go, do fetty, do fetty. Because your average like lawn care company would probably do like the whole spring cleanup with the leaves for like, I don't know, 120, 140, maybe 175. So I already know I'm coming a little bit high. That's why we don't get a lot of spring cleanups. But, here's why. You wanna know why? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's how you're supposed to grow a legitimate company that's got taxes, insurance, right? Do you pay your taxes? I know some landscapers ain't paying their taxes. I got taxes. You see this? I gotta pay to dump that stuff. See this trailer? This trailer was almost seven grand. See this sign? This sign cost me about 75 cents. <laughs> but, the wifey wants a new house and she wants to start popping out some babies, right? And health insurance bought a grand a month. So, that's how much you charge for a spring cleanup. So let's get to work. All right, I gotta fire up my audiobook real quick on audible.com. You can get a 30 day free trial or two free audiobooks, whatever. Click the link in the description below for audible.com. I put on my safety glasses. If you wanna know what audiobooks I'm listening to while working, I just finished Extreme Ownership by uh, Phil, uh, Jocko Willink. 
And then I'm on Shoe Dog Night right now. Uh, by Shoe Dog by Phil Knight, the founder of Nike. But that's not what I'm listening to right now. Right now I'm actually listening to some top secret stuff about equity. Yes, and whoa! You can't hear that stuff down. It's top secret! Alright, let's get to work. Right now would be a good time to hit the subscribe button. Smash the thumbs up. I told you to hit the subscribe button, Jesus! Rubbish. If, if, if your blades are dull, they start tearing. You see these little veins sticking out, it's called the vascular bundles. It's not a good idea. This one would be crispy. You ever just like in the corner of a customer property trimming some shrubs, dog, and you just breathe? You're like... It's like kind of cozy over here, isn't it? Like I can just chill here. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Bro. I'll say, what if the customer the customer comes out back and you're like, like comes out? We do guard maintenance, right? If you're like under a shrub pulling weeds, sometimes I just freeze and I get this deep sense of peace. I'd be like, I want to tell you a secret. I was a foreman for one of the biggest landscape companies in my state. Prestige company. They fired me. For making YouTube videos. <laughs> I swear to God, bro, they threatened to sue me. I felt bad, like. So, you you can't find it because it's not online. My first YouTube show, it was called The Gardening Goof and I act like a complete jackass. Don't ever do this if you have a job and you work for someone. <laughs> I was literally, you can imagine, I was doing it with the company shirt on, on company time, on client property. I wasn't aware of what I was doing, I just thought I was having fun making videos and I wasn't aware that it was really unprofessional and they like straight up threatened to sue me. But I've since then started my own business and now I'm the gardening goof in my business, but I've called those people up that I used to work for and I apologized to them. I told them I was sorry and I really am sorry. That was stupid. But, where one door closes, another opens. I give you a tip for trimming shrubs. The blade never, ever, ever leaves the shrub. If you're going like this, you got a problem. You got a little bit more of a problem. So the, tree, the blade never leaves the shrub. By the way, these are the Red Max CHT 220Ls. I actually love these. You know why? Because they're lightweight, they're ergonomic, they work good, and they're quiet compared to other brands. Just finish up at the first property. Now, I'm going to start the next one. And I like that it's right next door. That's what a walk up is so good for because it's right now money. No drive time, no rescheduling, nothing. 
and then also I'm running my business off a of house call pro so click the link in the description below to get your first month for only 19 bucks it's the scheduling software that we use check it out it's dope below you can get my free three video series on how to start a landscaping business it's totally free click the link in the below it'll say three free video series check it out you're gonna love it it's awesome This here is the pampas grass. You cut that pampas grass down, but not all the way. You gotta leave a supporting base for the new grass to grow, so it don't fall over like this, eh? Now let's... Check me out on Instagram at Keith Kalfas. Check me out on Snapchat at Keith Kalfas. Check me out on YouTube at Keith Kalfas. Go to KeithKalfas.com. Hashtag Keith Kalfas. Check out the Untrap podcast. Hashtag Untrap. It's good. I'm liking this one.